I'm going to do a temperature equilibrium problem using a calorimeter which is insulated. So the the aluminum inside to this calorimeter which is just like an aluminum cup just like the lab that we did um, that's been insulated from the outside environment and it's uh, reached an equilibrium temperature so uh, we have 0.6 kilograms of aluminum at uh, 20 degrees C and just like in the lab uh, we're gonna add some water and we're gonna give some time for the aluminum and the water to reach an equilibrium temperature and in this case uh, the water that we're going to add is uh, going to be 0.5 kilograms of water and so it reaches that same 20 degrees C and uh, we can say the aluminum and the water have reached equilibrium at 20 degrees C and we're going to be adding to that a couple of things we're going to add a uh, piece of copper at 90 degrees C and an ice cube at zero degrees and we're going to find the final temperature of all these things using the equation heat gained plus heat lost equals zero from conservation of energy so what's gaining heat here well basically the ice cube but the ice and then the water that used to be ice which we'll call the ice water so that would be that 0.1 kilograms of water and to basically figure out what's going on with that let's just do a temperature versus um, heat graph just a simple graph and uh, we know that uh, that ice cube is starting at zero and the most it could get up to would be the 20 degrees it's probably going to end up somewhere between the zero and the 20 which we'll just call T sub F, the final temperature. And it's going to flatline for a while. That means um, we're adding heat, but we're not changing the temperature initially. We call that heat of fusion. And that's where we're basically uh, loosening the bonds uh, of the ice, allowing them uh, to, to become water. And then we can finally use the MC delta T once we're 100% water. So the way that'll look, uh, using the actual numbers is we have the 0.1 kilograms of ice times the heat of fusion of ice to water which is 3.34 times 10 to the fifth joules per kilogram and that would be on your colored sheet and um, once that is melted then we have to heat that so it's the 0.1 kilograms times the specific heat of water we don't know the final temperature, we'll just call that T sub F, but we know it started at zero. So our change in temp is T sub F minus zero. Now, those two things add up to be the, the heat gain. Now, what loses heat is basically everything else. So um, the aluminum cup, which started at 20 degrees, and um, its final temperature, again, we don't know, so we put in T sub F minus 20 and we had used the specific heat of aluminum which was the 897 uh, water we're essentially doing the same thing but we have 0.5 kilograms of water the specific heat of water 4180 again don't know the final temperature T sub F minus 20 and the final thing is the copper which there's 0.2 kilograms and it has a smaller specific heat so it's going to change its temperature rather quickly it's T sub F minus 90 degrees it's a pretty long, huge equation with a lot of scary terms, but it's really not too bad. It's really just as simple as if we had something like final temperature plus two times the final temperature minus nine equals zero, and we would just combine like terms, and we would solve for T sub F, and you would get T sub F equals three degrees, no problem. So it's a little scarier than that, but when we do the actual numbers, in this case, we come up with 3.12 times 10 to the third T sub F. And when we combine the items that don't have T sub F, it's 2.6 times 10 to the fourth. So we subtract that, and we come out with a final temperature of 8.3 degrees.